Hi, my name is Daniel. Today, I'll show you how to future-proof your encrypted database. If you have encrypted databases, you're probably already familiar with using SQLnet.org to define the location of the key store. That still works in database 19C, but the functionality, the parameter has been deprecated. We want you to use the new parameter wallet root instead. Wallet root is much more flexible and for instance, in multi-tenant, it allows the use of the isolated key store mode. Changing to wallet root requires a database restart. So why not doing during the upgrade when the database is restarted anyway? It's so easy with auto upgrade. Let me show you. First, create a text file, which holds the definition of the two new database parameters. Wallet root defines the base location of the key store related files and your TDE key store files goes into a subfolder called TDE. But you don't specify the TDE subfolder. The database looks theirs automatically. Next, TDE configuration. You should leave it like this. Only in advanced cases when you use Oracle Key Vault or a hardware security module should it be changed. Then I need to tell Auto Upgrade to use those two new parameters during upgrade and after upgrade. That's super easy. Simply add these two new options to your auto upgrade config file. Both of them refer to the text file that we just created. Now hit the deploy button, sit back and relax. Auto upgrade the text that you're switching to wallet root and will automatically copy the key store files at an appropriate time. It will also add the two parameters to your SP file. After the upgrade, the database is now using wallet root. You can get rid of the sqlnet.org parameter, you save the database restart, and your database is configured in the recommended way. Happy upgrading and enjoy Oracle Database 19C.